So it's not very often I come across a plugin that changes everything. And this is a plugin called Life by XLN Audio. They have created amazing plugins like RC20, XO and Drum Shaper. So it's not a surprise that they have come up with another extremely innovative plugin. And I really love this. And you're gonna love this too because it's mental. Check this out. So with this plugin, you can record audio on your mobile phone, transfer it to your computer, or you can record it from your computer, or you can grab samples on your computer, any samples, whether that be a beat, a voice, anything. And then this system will chop it up intelligently for you, but it's not just a toy. It's not just artificial intelligence. It also has a lot of funky, amazing, brilliant features, almost too many to explain here, but let's get cracking because I actually want to show you how this thing works and it is a wonderful tool. So here we've got a couple of very boring samples. I can use any samples. I recorded this one here before. For. Every time I think of you. Really boring samples where I'm singing out of tune. Let's just use this one. This is how it sounds. Hello, hello, it's Vince. Vince. We're going to go into this randomize button. Now take a listen to this. Let's press randomize again. Again. And again. Now let's click on this kick button and now let's take a listen to it. Let's do it again here. So it's basically with a really terrible sample, I've created something. If we want to go in and you're not happy with the samples that are being used, we can actually click on slice points here and we can do an auto slicer. So it automatically detects where there are actually samples and gets rid of the air. So let's just listen to the same configuration, but with different slice points. And let's listen to randomize. Let's increase the volume of the kick. It's a nice sounding kick as well. We can change uh, how the kick goes, like you've got different types of kick, and you can actually do the, uh, in terms of kick, you can change the different types of genres. Let's try this one here. Let's randomize again, let's get a different one. Let's randomize again. And again. And again. So there's lots of things you can do here. So for example, we can change the swing and we can change the pitching to the same key, but you can switch that off. Here how that sounds. Actually, it sounds better without it being pitched. Let's increase the amount of swing. And let's change the type of swing, which is really cool as well. Let's go back to the default. Now the other thing we can do is change the symmetry. So this uh, controls. So this controls how similar the first and the half, the second part of the pattern are to each other. And we can change the syncopation. And we can change the density. Now the other thing you can do is change the sound variation. So listen to this. As you move it across the spectrum, it's changing all these different parameters that are at play to create this loop. And we can explore variations on the same pattern by using the pattern variation. Just 
keep going until you find the one you want. And you can store the variation here and click plus and try a different variation. Let's try different variations. Let's try this one pitched. Let's try another one. So the other thing you could do is you can click on browse. In fact, I did like that one, so I'm going to create another shortcut there. You can click on browse. You have loads and loads of different types of values. So let's try this one. This one here. Let's go and select this one here. Once you've got something which you think sounds okay, you can do even more with it. Click on the edit button. Now let's see how this works under the hood. So it's kind of like a step sequencer, actually. It is a step sequencer, but on steroids. So for example, let's solo one of the tracks. Let's get the kick off, and we just hear one of the tracks. And you can see it's a step sequencer, just selecting certain values here on the step sequencer. We can select this one here, this one here. We can nudge it to the right or left a bit. Let's solo this one here as well. You can do all sorts of stuff like change the tone, change the pan of it, volume, You can filter the frequency, so you can do some cutting. You can even change the envelope. So there's quite a lot there, and also you can just choose the the elements you want. You might not like this for this fourth track. You might just want this. It says auto, so you can even add your own slices. And all of the settings from the main page are still here. You've got the overall kit, so you can do a high cut for the, for the overall thing. Let's actually take these off solo. So you can do some frequency cutting. And you can even add some effects here, like distortion. Let's add that kickback. You can add delay to the whole thing. So for example, we can get rid of ping pong. We can try this one here. There's also reverb. You can change even the, the length and the tone of the delay. Let's bring that tone right up. You can add reverb to the individual tracks. So the other thing you can do is not just use your own audio, which is super easy to put in because you can put it in for your phone. So if this automatically clicks with the phone, it sends the audio to the cloud. But you can use some of these presets. Let's use this basketball court one. So let's actually hear the original audio. Someone's playing basketball, I guess. <laughs> so let's just listen to how that sounds. Let's try this synth one. Now let's try the different options. Bring that kick in. Let's unpitch. The other thing I wanted to show you just quickly to finish is the automation options. So once you press configure and you click on any of these options, let's click on volume. 
you can automate the volume. Even better than that, you can do a whole lot of automation. So I've just selected sound variation and look at the automation that pops up. You can basically automate any of these parameters. Let's listen to this one again. So we can automate the reverb. And it shows the level. So L2 is this one here. L3 is this level here. Let's cut the L3 low. So you can imagine automating all of these parameters and you pretty much, with one sample, you can make an entire uh, song. So this thing is mental, it's crazy, and I really hope you guys can take a look at it. So I have a link below where you can buy this from Plugin Boutique, and I recommend, highly recommend Plugin Boutique. So when you buy on Plugin Boutique, you not only get this synth, but they actually offer a free synth. For example, when I bought Life, I also got drum synth for free, and I could have selected any other synth. So it's a real good deal. So what do you guys think? Do you think it's a toy or it's a tool? I think it's a tool. I think it's a great tool, and that's why I bought it as soon as I heard about it.